Alright, so right now I've got one. Um, and um, yeah, oh, could you please set it next to the um, oh, okay. you're not a regular delivery person. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you a new delivery person? No, okay. Um, well, I have the memory of a goldfish, so well, you know, we could have. No. Okay. Um, then you're here to visit me. No, because you don't even know who I... Oh my gosh, okay, I'm so sorry. My name is Ari, and I am the person that runs the gift shop at the end of... Well, I know, it's kind of a big job, but um, it's okay. Welcome! <laughs> Don't worry, that's okay. I, I, I get that blank stare, like, all the time. Well, as often as people come down here. Which isn't that often. <laughs> Since you are definitely, definitely alive, and believe me, I can tell when someone's alive. I've had plenty of time to uh, practice. That means something out of the ordinary must have attracted you here. <gasps> <More interesting. laughs> but usually, people end up here uh, when they're quick. Super, super sleepy, but not quite sleepy enough to fall asleep. Kind of in that weird in between place where you feel in the back of your head and it's just keeping you up, but you don't know quite what. I hear it's kind of like a lucid dream, but with less setting your eighth grade math teacher of just underpants on fire and all that fun stuff. Um, well, I mean, you're really not even supposed to be here, but after all, it is the end of everything. Well, okay. It's different for everyone. For some, the end of everything is like, I don't know, once my schools broke up. I mean, for some people, that really was the end of it. And for others, it's a bit more grave. Um, well, okay. anyway, most people will never even see this place, this place being, ta-da, the end of everything, and especially the gift shop at the end of everything. Um, usually we just kind of bypass it and head straight to, you know, the great beyond the other side uh you know my employers yeah but, you know the great place i mean the end of everything is a place like anywhere else so of course we have a gift shop well okay i'll be honest you're actually pretty out of stock that's okay because I'm sure a delivery will be here soon. And that's okay. Anyway, since you are here and the chances of you returning are astronomically high, not impossible as has been proven by a guy in this incredible blue box. And he just keeps showing up, and I'm like, wow, every once in a while he's just, you know, somebody new. And it's kind of cool, but at the same time, like, do you have anything else to do, buddy? You know? But he's bought tons of stuff, so he's pretty cool. Anyway, and, and, well, I shouldn't say anything. He's pretty awesome. Besides.
excited to that. Um, since you are here at the gift shop at the end of everything, would you like to buy something? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Well. Oh. Nope. I understand. The, you know, money thing. I know. Money is just this ridiculous thing. So many cultures are obsessed with. Isn't it weird when people always go, money, like money. Like somehow that represents the transaction between people. Anyway. Uh, right. Because we do not accept money here. I know it's a little bizarre, but that's okay. I mean, we accept currency, but just not as you probably think of it. The only condition for buying a gift here is that you've got to buy one for yourself as well. Well, that and you don't know what gift you're going to be giving the other person. A person whom you might have not even met yet. All I know is that they are going to be very important. I only sell gifts to important people. Sound good? Okay, well, um, our stock is pretty uh, eclectic. And um, also, it's quite vintage. <laughs> Used. Yeah, I know. Semantics. But um, how about I go through some of our stuff, my stuff, the stuff, and let you decide? I've got all the time in the world. Well, in the underworld. I don't get much of an audience down here. Anyway, okay. Let's start with the uh, more common gift shops, gift shop stuff. Okay. Mugs. Now. Everyone likes mugs. Everyone could use a mug. I mean, really. Who doesn't drink out of a mug? Besides people with no mouths, and that's not as common as you might think. This one happens to come, for some reason, with a packet of instant coffee already inside. It's got a bit of a veneer on it. Lacquer, if you will. And, um, So, there is some French writing on the inside, I'll be honest. But the cool thing about this one is that I do know there is a matching version out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's sort of a male or female version, but there's definitely another one. And you decide to take this as one of your gift shop items, there will somewhere in the world be another one for you to hunt down. I mean, granted, your life won't be complete until you find the person that has another one, but etc. these gifts. Don't want to deal with those complications. Okay. I don't blame you in the slightest. That's okay. Alright, well, let's try and figure out something else. I do have a great deal of earrings here, whether or not they are 
looking for something gender specific or not. Many cultures do wear earrings and jewelry. Great. Okay. Well, let us try this. I have this set of measuring spoons, and you might think that they are too gender specific. So, each of them has a butterfly on it, and alongside with the butterfly, they have a different flower, and they come in this beautiful little organza bag. And I can see that I am totally not interested. Why are you bothering? You look right at the oak. That's fine, because we will find you something else that I am sure you will love. Yeah, okay. Um, well, let's see. I would suggest these incredible flowers. Except for the fact that being down here does tend to have some kind of string effects on living things if they happen to exist here for more than a nanosecond. Um, yeah, they tend to turn some really interesting colors, which is fabulous. But uh, it simultaneously ensures that they won't live beyond, I'll say, um, let's just say that they are on their way to, yeah, yeah, not, no, I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll be calling it dried rosemary soon. I know, it's so sad. I just, yeah. I know, it, it kind of smells like, like bacon and eggs, things just get kind of funny down here. I'm not sure why. Mm, let's see what else I've got. Maybe we can't leave the gift shop at the end of everything without buying something. That would just be dreadful. So. Okay. The apple. I try and avoid selling those darn things. Apples start way too many controversies. I mean, the golden ones are rather lovely, but, um, you know how dear these are. This one's more lacquered and it's been here for a bit. by the dust at the top. I just wait to sell something that might have the potential to cause a bit of strife amongst others. Unduly. And apples seem to have that ability. Although this one does open. Kind of neat. So, oh, I know you are interested in the apple, but let me show you something before that. Okay, I, I know you, you said you're not really interested in jewelry. I know you're not too keen on jewelry, but just take a look at this. It also came in our last delivery, and yeah, I know it. I don't know why they come so late. It's just one of those things. Sometimes you just can't get to your till like midnight. Well, that's okay. Anyway, that's why I 
you were the new delivery person, though. I thought I'd mention that. You know, they show up late. I think you're gonna deliver something because really no one else is. It's funny. What are you look at what this says? Uh huh. No, I'm not gonna put it on. It's gonna be a gift. I'm gonna let you look. Well, of course you're. Well, potentially you're a purchaser. Uh huh. Yeah. I know everything down here has such an airy glow, but look very closely. And you'll see that it's upside down. Now. Eternal. And if you twist it just a bit. Love. The whole around this. It says eternal love. And or you may consider it to be a feminine bracelet. It's not necessarily the case. Eternal love is for everyone. I know you're talking about the style. You feel drawn to it. Mm. A bit more of it, perhaps, given where it's from. The eternal part. I know. I always reiterate that. Sure. Alright. Gift number one it is. No. I wonder if it'll be for you. I'll just set that down for now. <sighs> okay. I mean, I can always gift wrap it before you go. Um, at the end. I mean, we are still a gift shop after all, so don't worry. Now, I would like to point out that there is always this um, scarf or shawl or whatever. give visitors very often and it's a really really good story okay so around the time that I started working here this super 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 sweet chick named like Eurydice or Eurydice or Eurydice or, I don't know it was something like that it was something really really sweet and pretty and too foreign for me to pronounce but anyway she was like super super excited because she was never ever happens almost ever and so she comes by here and here she is picking out a present for her one true love it's so sweet so sweet so she picks out this scarf shawl thing whatever they might have called it then a really while ago i've been here for Picks it out for him. This, um, you know, guy she was married to. And, uh, well, let's put it this way. He had one job. Yeah, one job. 
Mm -hmm. Well, all I'm gonna say is that uh, she picked it up on her way to following him out of here. Because all I had to do was not look back. Still here. So let's guess what he did. I know that's why it's not like sold yet. I just I can't get rid of it. Every time I tell that story, which is like a great story, no one ever wants to buy it. I, yeah, I understand. That. That's okay. That's okay. I totally get it. Totally, totally get it. Um you know, I don't think no one wants that. Shoal seconds. <sighs> That's a really dreadful thing for me to say. Anyway, okay. So, let's see what else I've got. Um, that? Oh, no. You don't. You do not want. Technically, if you do want it, I have to sell it to you because that's just kind of how things work. But you don't want it. No, you don't. It's look, okay. I'm gonna show it to you, and you're not gonna want. It. I'm just gonna show you the outside, and you are not going to want. It. Okay, come on. Mm-hmm. And this side seems like clear. But watch. Look at how mangled the side is. Trust me when I say you don't want it. Mm-hmm. No, I mean it's really like <laughs> Well, yeah, but look at how busted it is on the outside. I mean, you know musicians. Well, that's a mandolin. I mean, it's been here for a bit. Kind of like the apple. I hesitate to sell it. Okay, well, let me set it down on the counter in front of me right now, okay? Are you sure you want me to take it out? Okay, if you say so. Why would I hesitate to sell it? Well, think about it. The gift of music is one of the most powerful things you can give to someone. Yourself included. Music changes lives. But if you really want it. What do you mean, does it work? Does it work? Mm -hmm. 
my fair share. I can only play two notes on it though. No, I mean, literally, even if I wanted to, I couldn't play more. Like, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to play more notes. Just one for you, and one for the person that it might go to. We all have our own vibrations, and this is just another way of expressing it and visualizing it, I guess. So listen carefully because you only get one demo. You do get the pick though. I'm afraid that's it. This. You want this? Are you sure? You only heard it that one time. Mm. You want it because it's powerful. See, that's not the only reason you want it. Alright, well, I don't have anything to gift wrap it though. Although it does come with its own handle. Alright, mandolin it is. I'll set this right over here. Now, let's see if I can go about getting the bracelet get trapped for you. I've only got a couple times kinds of tissue paper. First is not even really tissue paper down here. Everything is just kind of garbled. It's more of a wrapping paper. Not quite appropriate, I think, in this situation. A really pretty cool thing. I do have a proper tissue paper, but it is kind of worldly.
like it. Yes. It's wonderful tissue paper. You know what? I think I have just the thing for that bracelet for you. A little box and it is already ready to go. I don't even need to wrap it. Well, I don't need to wrap it. And I think the bracelet will fit perfectly in here, whether it becomes a gift for yourself or for someone else. That's all right. I'm put it in this little box. I hope you don't mind that it doesn't fit perfectly. Very few things down here fit perfectly. Now, you've got your mandolin, and maybe you've got your um, bracelet. Mm -hmm. So now, well, you've got your gifts, and I suppose I'm going to send you on your way, but before I do that, I've got one last present for you both. I know you don't know who the other person is yet, but that's okay. I have a little dig through my pockets. This is what I was looking for. Now, I have two of them, and they are matching. So, I know I told you you'd only get a present for yourself and a present for the other person. Two gifts. But if you really get one last gift from me, I'm kind of an in-betweener. You ready? Well, remember how I said that you'd come to me in that sort of place between sleeping and waking? Mm-hmm. The things I have to show to you, well, I'll be returned. They are both full of something that will help you find the deepest sleep. They smell a bit different to everyone. No. They are nearly identical aside from that. Smell like anything from, oh, I don't know, fresh peach cobbler to an unknown spice from a distant land. These are a special gift for me, for you, and for whoever that special person is. Of being the recipient of the gift that you purchased here. Because you only purchase gifts for important people here. And I hope you remember that because you got one for yourself.
next to these little guys. All you have to do is pop them under your pillow. You're beginning to feel it already, aren't you? Well, I understand. It conveniently serves as your exit pass out of here. So, all you have to do is listen to their soft sounds and imagine their gentle smell. Perhaps it's lavender. Oops, it's cardamom. But soon I will be nothing but a distant memory. I'll be nothing but a dream. And that's what the gift shop at the end of everything is. A dream. place to stop. I hope to not see you again. Or rather, I hope not to see you again for quite some time. No. Return to whence you came. And sleep. Sleep deeply. Sleep fully. And when you wake, Hi.